In the midst of these events, local self-defense trainers say there is a way you can be best prepared for a crisis situation. NBC26's Ben Boken caught up with one martial arts teacher to find out a plan of action. No! Betsy Rollins recalls moments in her life alone on the street, feeling like she was about to be attacked. But she's prepared for almost every situation. When you can show that you've got the confidence to take on the world, <laughs> they don't want that. They want a victim. They want somebody that's not going to put up a fight. In the wake of recent mass shootings across the nation and multiple stabbings at home in Northeast Wisconsin, training for a similar scenario might feel more and more essential. Rollins teaches self-defense in Green Bay and says the plan is simple. It can be as chaotic as the world, but you're calm, you can make a better decision then. And Rollins says it isn't about fighting an attacker. She believes it's about learning to breathe in a chaotic event. The confidence part is the hard part. So without training and without doing something, you do what you train to do. What do you train to do? eat Fritos and sit on the couch and watch TV, right? But the martial artist says that preparation makes you more aware of your surroundings. If somebody's got a gun, I don't want to be anywhere near them. If somebody's got a knife, I don't want to be anywhere near them. The more distance I have, the safer I can be. Rollins teaches Jonathan Hager. After over six years of training, he says he feels ready for the worst. If there was a crisis, I would be able to do something. Uh, you know, whether it, it comes to defending myself physically, or helping someone else. Though she says training is key for a potential crisis situation, Rollins believes there is a way to teach yourself one of the most valuable lessons every single day. Anybody can teach how to punch and kick. So live your best life, have your best day. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26. Rollins says one of the keys in any situation is to take a deep breath for making a plan of action.